So hey everyone, today in this video, I'm gonna guide you how to replace missing values for multiple data set. Let's suppose you have 10 data set and you have to replace all the variable missing values with one or zero or two, okay, with any value. Now here the scenario is you have multiple data set. So how you can replace the missing values in bulk? So let's move to the screen. Let me share you. So guys, I hope my screen is visible to all. So you can see we have written here write a code which can read all the data set from the library and replace missing values in both character and numeric variable by one. So first we have created a library okay and given the location after that we have created three data set okay because here the scenario was like more than one data sets are there and you want to replace the missing value. So you can see in each of the data set here at the data set one we have some missing values. So knowingly we have created some missing values so that we can replace in data set two as well we have some missing values you can see I hope it's visible to all and same way in data set three as well we have some missing values now and knowingly we have kept missing values for character variable as well and for numeric variable as well now let me run all the three data set okay so you can see I hope some missing values are visible in numeric variable as well in character variable as well now how we can replace that let's see a method so related to this a basic video from scratch I have created earlier as well. You can go and check. I'll give the link in the video description as well. And this is an directly advanced part. Okay, because we are going to proceed in bulk, replacing missing values in bulk. If you want to understand how to replace missing values from scratch, so you can watch that video. I'm giving the link in the iCards as well and in the video description as well. Now, what we did here on 51 row we call the mylib where the data set was present and we have given the data set name so on 51 row we are creating a new data set we are storing in mylib library and the same way we are calling a data set from mylib library which is having missing values then we are creating array first we have created array for character so you all know arrays used to group variables so to group variables we have given array and the array name we have given character wars and then we are selecting all the character if you want to select all the character variable so you can simply write underscore character underscore same way we have created another array this time we have given the name numeric war and we have selected all the numeric variable then we are creating a do loop and then we are giving do loop name and then we are selecting one to dim so instead of giving specific number let's suppose you want to make changes on 10 variables so we'll give one to 10 let's suppose in character underscore character you might have selected 20 variables 30 variables and you don't know you don't want to check manually so you can directly write dim dimensions it will automatically read from the array name how many variables are there and behind the scene instead of dim if underscore character have selected 20 variables so here 20 will come behind the scene so to automatically read we have given dim dimension and the array name it will automatically read the number of variable it have selected from the array name then if character var that is array name character var i indexing name do loop equal to missing if it contains missing value then character var i equal to 1 then for the particular array it should replace missing values with 1 and then you are ending the do loop same way you are trying to replace all the numeric variable missing values with one okay now let me run this so you can see all the variable missing values got replaced with one so here you might can see like all the variables were numeric and it is replacing so whether it is working on character correctly or not see in this data set we are having only uh, numeric variable missing values so it is replacing numeric variable missing values and at the end you can see this i and j this two do loop name got created you can drop using drop function so you can drop it i and j using drop and uh, let me share you another scenario now let's try this on another data set which is having missing values in numeric variable as well and character variable as well you can see in education and place of missing values one is coming in occupation also at place of missing one is coming same way in experience also in place of missing value one is coming this i and j you can drop it you can simply write drop here after end and you can drop it now the question is initially i have told to you that if someone want to replace missing values in bulk 
okay this we are trying on single single data set for that we have created a macro you can see here from 91 row to 103 row we have created macro so let me explain which type of macro this is this is macro and mend first you have written macro then you have given macro name that is replace underscore missing then you have created two macro variable under parenthesis you have mentioned two macro variable that is data set and out output then in 92 row you are writing data to create new data set but instead of giving a specific data set name you are writing n percent output because every time let's suppose if you are creating multiple data set because if you want to replace missing values for multiple data set so you might try this macro on multiple data set so you are automating the output data set name instead of giving a specific data set name so you can see here you have created a macro variable and the same macro variable you are calling here so if you don't have the knowledge of macros so this might be a little difficult for you okay but still i'm trying to explain that part as well now what you are doing you are calling from my library a data set now you are not giving a specific data set name you are calling a macro data set you can see here here you have created the data set macro variable so you are calling so every time you can choose which data set you want to call and which data set you want to create now you are creating two arrays that is selecting all the character and all the numeric variables then you are writing do loop for character and replacing the missing values in the character variable with one same way you are replacing the numeric variable missing values with one okay then you are writing run then you are ending the macro m end and macro name is replace missing let me run this macro now what we did now we are calling this macro replace missing see this macro name was replace missing right so you are calling this macro using percent replace missing then you are giving data set name which data set you want to call and which data set you want to create okay then you are giving data set name that which data set you want to call and which data set you want to create okay so this way of calling the macro values or the macro variable is positional okay and there are two types keyword and positional if you want to make it easy let me make it easy okay so here guys what you are doing you can see first macro variable is data set okay so on 93 row while calling data you have called this macro it means data set one is the data you want to call and you want to create a new data set in my lib that is data set one updated so this is positional type of macro okay let me explain you in a layman language let's suppose at the position of data set so what is data set the data set you want to call so first you are writing which data set you want to call then at the place of output so output is which data set you want to create right you are writing my lib data set one underscore updated so under the my library okay this is a library name you want to create this data set one updated or you want to store this so same way you can give data set name you want to call and the new data set name so like this three you can create copy and paste it how many times you want and you can mention which data set you want to call which data set you want to create by this way you can create multiple data set and you can replace missing values for multiple data set for multiple variables so guys i hope you got some idea and uh, i know this video might be difficult for those who are totally fresher or those who are not having the idea of macro and mend but i hope you got some clarity and the video might help you and if you have any questions you can ask me in the comment and if you want me to make any specific video on uh, types of macro variable or types of do loop or array so you can ping me in the comment as well so for now thank you everyone and bye bye everyone